A dog fight all weekend goes in favor of a bulldog. UMD sweeps St. Cloud State by a final score of 2-1 on Saturday night down at the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center. Not too much offense in the first period. The goalie is taking care of business. Austin Farley's shot steered away by Charlie Lindgren. Lindgren had a great first period for St. Cloud State. Too bad that the other guy on the other end of the rink had a pretty good night as well. Casimir Kaskasul steers this one away. 0-0 in the first period. A few more looks for the Bulldogs. They call it Charlie's Angels on this one as he sits on that puck. A 0-0 tie heading into the second period. In that second period, the Huskies trying to get some offense going. Will Borgen with a wide open look. His shot goes wide and we get our first goal of the game by Dominic Toninato. His 12th goal of the season. UMD up 1-0 later in the period. More offense coming from UMD. Carson Kuhlman's third goal of the weekend puts UMD up 2-0, but the Huskies power play gets stuff going. Patrick Russell nets his 17th goal of the season. The Huskies trailing by a score of 2-1 heading into the third period, but that was as close as they were going to get because Koskisul had a fantastic night. 25 saves for the Finn, another great night for him. Keeps UMD in this one. The Huskies had some pretty decent goaltending as well. Charlie Lindgren has 25 saves as well, but the Huskies not able to do it on the empty netter. They pull Lindgren and are not able to come up with the win. UMD sweeps St. Cloud State. They win this one by a final score of 2-1. Shots on goal just in favor of the Bulldogs at 27-26. Huskies do get one power play goal in the loss. That's what I love about our league. They got swept last week on the road, and they come on the road, and did they battle. And, and I give them credit. And, uh, Duluth played well. They're, they're, they're a strong team. I mean, uh, early on, I think, going into the preseason, they were projected one of the top teams in the country. So, I mean, it... Uh, uh, they're definitely you can't you can't turn your head when you're playing them and and then hats off to them they had a strong goaltending and they, they were there sound defensively and you know we just couldn't much muster a whole lot of offense this weekend mm -hmm. and that's something our team's not used to I thought we handled that adversity much better tonight not playing the you know the way we want to and the way we have been mm -hmm. but um, give those credit mm -hmm. when we got on the puck and we put it in good areas where we didn't let their goalie get to it we had a good four check going and then they defended hard. When we didn't, they, they put a lot of pucks off the glass, put us to foot races, relieved pressure very well. You know, we did a good job of kind of limiting their chances. Um, yeah, you could definitely say they were opportunistic. Um, you know, two, uh, two big goals that made the difference tonight, so. What's bigger than next weekend, the week, two weekends ago, than there's the next weekend? You know, we got to get back and play good hockey. We got to go do it on the road. We got to respond after what happened this weekend. Uh, that's how the NCHC is. I mean, you look uh, around the whole league. I mean, everything's tight. Uh, you know, obviously UMD was was fighting for a, a, a home playoff spot. So, and you could tell. I mean, they were uh, they played super hard this weekend. And I mean, that's that's just the the, the conference title. I mean, that's uh, you can you can look at it all you want, but we're gonna we're gonna focus in on. On, on one game at a time, and then whatever happens within the, the conference championship, that happens, and, and we'll, we'll start playoffs after that. At this time of the year, you don't do anything different. You stick to your normal game plan. Taking a look at the NCHC standings brought to you by Noodles & Company, and North Dakota has clinched a share of the Penrose Cup, sitting in first place with 53 points. Denver with the big win over Western Michigan, now tied with St. Cloud State for second in the conference with 47 points. Next weekend series between St. Cloud State and Colorado College. Going to be a huge one as the Huskies are trying to grab that two seed going into the conference tournament. But the Huskies have already clinched home ice for the first round of the NCHC tournament. The Huskies will be back at the Brooks Center March 11th, possibly through the 13th. Husky Productions will have all of your coverage of possibly all three of those playoff games. So the Huskies fall 2-1 to one to UMD down at the Brooks Center. That'll do it from us here at the Husky Production Studios. Everybody have a great rest of your night.